Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Driveway Detailers. You're very welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy uh, what I hope to do on this uh, new channel. Really, the aim of this channel is to provide uh, some consumer experience, my experience as a consumer. I'm not a professional detailer. Um, I'm an enthusiast, I'm enthusiastic about detailing my car and cleaning my car, like uh, many thousands of people um, out there, I guess. And I know that there's lots of great videos provided by professional detailers or provided by some uh, retailers or wholesalers on, on particular products. And some of them are really good. Some of them are really, really good. Some of the professionals provide great um, videos. But some of uh, the retailers or the large uh, YouTube channels, um, sometimes they don't give a balanced uh, review on a particular product. Um, and they would just go through the features and benefits of a particular product and make a, a microfiber towel sound like the most amazing thing ever to hit the market and um, click here to order that type of stuff and sometimes when you come away from reviews like that it's very hard to to figure out what is what was the benefit of watching it so my aim really is to take it through the products that I use what I order so once I order stuff I'm going to start doing a recording doing a review on it try and be balanced about it and uh, hopefully you will benefit from it too so the first video that I'm going to do on my channel is a review of um, a car air dryer. It's called the Vertool Air Dry 180. Seems to be new to the market. I've been looking for one of these for a couple of months, but I have had my eye on figuring out uh, what particular one might suit my needs as a, as a, as a weekend warrior. Um, looked at handheld devices, but never pushed a button on one of those because... Um, just thought there might be a glorified hairdryer and it'd become more frustrating than anything else and it might sit in the shelf and I might not use it. So sometimes it's good to come away from the entry levels and come up a bit. This is priced at 205 euros so certainly was above what I intended to spend but I didn't see anything between you know 100 euros and, 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 and 150 or in around 150, 170 euro mark. This appeared on my Facebook feed last Friday evening. Um, a supplier um, called Autopia.ie, A-U-T-O-P-I-A.ie, based here in Ireland, run by a guy called Jerry. We've been using them for the last couple of years, maybe four or five years now. Um, and he's always been, he's always delivered, so you can give him a call, get some advice from him on what, uh, let him know what you're thinking about ordering and, and he'll let you know whether it's suitable or not. So, good guy. Uh, so I ordered this from him, didn't talk to him about it, uh, just ordered it online because um, I thought that they were, they were relatively new, that they, they, they may sell out. Um, so I'll just take it through the specs and then I'll take it through some of the pros and cons as I can see it. And I will do a video, I will do a video, next video I do will be how this drives my car. And the reason why I, I, I went for uh, an air dryer uh, finally was I did a paint correction and... I did a ceramic coating on my Mark 7 Golf uh, there in the last couple of weeks and I washed it for the first time uh, last over the weekend and I dried it ever so carefully with a microfiber towel. Now I keep my microfiber towels you know packed away in bags but always fearful I still might pick up some dirt and obviously when you're when you're drying or patting it down that may damage the paint but the fact that I spent so much time paint correcting it and ceramic coating it I said look I'm gonna invest a bit of money in this and um, let the neighbours think I'm absolutely stone crazy and mad, but that's okay. So 205 euros, as I said, a bit above my budget, but I plugged it in yesterday. It's, a quite, it's a quite a powerful tool, uh, so I think it might be worth it. As I said, I'll do another video. So let me take you through some of the features of this particular product. Okay, so here in Ireland, so we're, we're voltage of, of 220. Uh, it is, uh, it has five or 5.5 horsepower single motor, depending on the website. Some people say it's 5.5, the majority say 5.5, but some have said it's five to be fair. So I just mentioned that it doesn't say whether it's a five or five and a half on the box. And I didn't get an owner's manual on it or a spec sheet. So, um, but it's, it's all about how it puts the power down, I guess, really. So single motor, it is heated and it is filtered, which is fantastic. Okay. So the filter's back here in the back. So that's easily removed. You can take that off uh, this particular unit, blow it out with an air compressor. I think you can wash it by hand as well, I imagine, uh, and dry it by hand, it would be fine. But here are the switches. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, 
So this is this controls the speed of the air going through the unit. Okay. It's on the it's on the off position at the moment. That's on. Back to off, and then that's on with heat. Okay. So as I said, it is heated, it is filtered. The heat that it will provide is, I think it's 30 degrees, just over 30 degrees above ambient temperature. So if we're at zero, it should heat up to close to 30. If we're at 15 degrees outside, and this unit is outside with you, it should be able to bring it up to 45 degrees. So give you plenty of, of power and heat to dry that car so you don't have any water spots or you don't have any streaks from your microfiber towel. Certainly find here in, in Ireland, uh, we have a moist climate. so. When you're when you're drying a car uh, with a microfiber towel it does leave little streaks behind that you'll wait for them to evaporate and when they do evaporate um, even though you can't see what's left behind there is stuff left behind and uh, so this the aim of this is to blow off all the air and just leave a, a good quality finish so there's that's the only controls that you have okay it is light this is plastic, this is plastic, wheels are plastic. It's all plastic, I was surprised, but the plastics are actually quite good. good. That's good quality. Good quality wheels, strong, robust, they're rotatable. They're lockable, all four are rot rotatable and lockable. This is a good quality plastic. Chassis is plastic. It does come with a five meter power cord. And I think that's very important. Okay. It does put, it does consume 2,800 volts, or sorry, watts, 2.8 kilowatts, I think that is, isn't it? The cable's quite substantial. How the cable goes into the plug, if everybody else is like me, everyone's pulling a man crazy at these plugs, so it's important this is, this is robust. And it's also robust in this end. It's five meters, and I think that's great. Um, I don't like messing around with, um, with extension cords, extension leads, or anything like that. It's, it's not really good. I mean, if you've got 2.8 um, kilowatts of power going through it, you're better off have taken this direct from a plug. But the last thing you want with a two meters, having this two meter from the socket, but five meters away from the car, you know, so with a five meter power cord, it allows you to plug it into the wall, take the unit five meters away from the wall, over to the car, leave it there so that you can get on with your job and get on with your work. So it's great that that's five meters. The hose is also five meters, right? So it does expand when you push the air through it. Um, that's it kind of folded up with no air going through it so i would say it's about just over two meters long so it's easy to store it's quite heavy i didn't think it was going to be that heavy i was thinking it was going to be something like a, a hose and a vacuum cleaner but it's not it's very very different it's a lot heavier it's a lot more robust um i think you know if, if you stand in it i can't see you damaging it too easily as well so i was surprised how, how good quality that is at either end there's good quality plastics Okay, so I can't see this pulling out of this too easy. It fits in really neat into the actual unit itself. Again, good, good connectivity there. Um, easy, sound, good, good plastics, you can, you can tell. And it's the same on the other side. The other side, you have a handle with a foam on it. So that's, this unit gets hot. Um, you know, it can push out, you know, I think, it's saying on some of the specs up to uh, 50 degrees in temperature so like okay in cold weather it might be 30 keep your hands warm in cold weather but in warm weather if you're doing it it's going to push out like degrees that are you know 40 50 degrees so you want something that's going to insulate you from that comes with two uh, nozzles so there's the first nozzle so kind of a focus nozzle again good quality plastic good good connectivity here really good uh, about an inch, inch and a half of um, of a rubber tip here. I mean, it's plastic, but it's rubber coated. So I think if you're gonna, you will touch it off the, the your car paint. There's no doubt about that. But it's not gonna scratch it. It's the same with the other one. Again, good quality plastics. The last inch, inch and a half of this is plastic, but coated with rubber. So again, I can't see it damaging it. So a five meter hose, five meter power cable, single motor, five or 5.5 horsepower engine heated filtered variable speed you can use it without the warm air or use it with the with the with the warm air so i'm happy with that it's a nice unit um some of the cons okay was a bit above my price budget but that's not really a con as such the other con is it didn't come with an operating manual <laughs> uh, but it's simple to operate i mean you know what you need but 
but then it's nice to come with a spec sheet maybe and and uh, a manual i'm happy with it i will do a video uh in the next couple of days I'll, I'll wash my golf um and i will see what it's like but yeah yesterday i did try it out in here it's, it's quite powerful and uh, my golf isn't isn't fully clean yet outside there but I'll, I'll wash it again and then we'll see what it's like straight after a wash and uh, so I hope you look forward to that video. I'll put that up quite soon. So thanks a million for watching. Take care.